Manager Ben Alliston is the man responsible for the rebirth of Harrow Town. After Sunday League football had become extinct at the club, it was he that tasked himself with bringing the glory days back on a summer's day in 2010. Already 2-0 to the good, the boys set about putting themselves out of sight at the start of the second half, but waste a series of good opportunities. Come on, follow it! Oh, go on, Al! Go on, Al! Town's domination shows no signs of letting up as the half progresses. A combination of silky build-up play and the tenacious attitude of the team ensures that they remain in charge. But despite continuing to stamp their authority on proceedings, the team are held back by the same problem that has blighted them all season. They are missing their chances.
With the game remaining in the balance, emotions continue to run high, and one man in particular takes exception to Alliston's heart on sleeve approach. With the manager banished to the mound, the responsibility from the sidelines falls on assistant coach Gareth Ray. Having been outplayed for large periods, the home side find a second wind and start to force their way back into the game. tells and stand more half the deficit. But Alliston has a trick up his sleeve. Hey, Deej, we need we need someone to finish off these chances. Seriously, Foxy, let him put your boots on that one. Might get a ten minute cameo there. He's got boots. Welcome to the Pro Tour. How the fuck? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Get with this. Get it back, Joe. Oh, no. Are you kidding me, Ditch? Slang! Slang! The nerves on the touchline are almost unbearable, and Alliston risks the wrath of the FA by breaching his touchline ban and returning to the side of the pitch. Despite a few nervous moments, though, Town cling on for a big win. Hey, D, you're coming back. You're coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've much of this year. We've had an influx of new players. We've got some of the younger players, um, like Ralph, Chaz, Simo. They've sort of matured as well because they've seen what it's all about. And, uh, yeah, this is the best call we've had. We've had a share with that. Uh, yeah, so yeah, really good to be No, I mean, it needed to. At the end of the second season, the last six, seven weeks of the second season was quite painstaking. It was a headache, some of it, people were turning it up, financial side, results weren't good. I lost a bit of interest, lost a bit of heart, which obviously probably filled it down, but no worries, I'm going to walk away from the club. I love this place, and it needs a football team, so. And then we read the rewards now, because now we've got a decent bunch of lads, younger team as well, and they've all gelled, we've got some players from other teams and all that. We'll go on a tour for the first time in God knows how long, so. It's nice, it's good, and it gets me away from the bloody messes and the kids as well, so I ain't giving them my Sundays. <laughs>